Matt Damon says, I recently retired homophobic F slur after daughter forces my hand. I mean, I guess that's fine. And I'm glad. And well, that's kind of dusty that you would like Matt Damon is using this word and in front of his like young daughters and doesn't feel like that's problematic. Okay, fine. But that's my own personal judgment. But then I was like, do to do. And this all comes, this conversation happened in an interview for his new movie, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And now you're trying to like, what? Who's your D-bag today? Oh, thanks for asking. Hi, my name is Matt Damon. I'm a D-bag. Woof. Did you see this one? Woof. (laughs) Yeah. Appropriate. (laughs) Now, I would like to be, you know, like I frequently am, thoughtful. Mm Mm-hmm. I'd like to be thoughtful about this story. Maybe you've seen the headline. Some combination of words that sound similar to the following. I uh, Matt Damon says, I recently retired homophobic F slur after daughter forces my hand. Saw the headline over the weekend and it's many iterations. So now when I hear a story like this. Again, thoughtful Bradley. Thoughtful Bradley. I think to myself, that's interesting. Let me try to understand, because I think what I'm reading is that somebody has retired a slur, which on the face of that, that sounds like a good thing. Right. You're no longer using a word that's hurtful, harmful. We've all hopefully done the work to put away or retire certain words, uh, certainly in public, but hopefully in private as well. Yes. As time goes on to just jettison certain words from our vocabulary when we're made aware of how hurtful they can be. And it's just, it's like one of those things people do. Language evolves. Yes, thank you. And not only evolves, just humanity evolves. Yeah. And language uh, can be a casualty, thankfully. So then I was like, I need to understand what actually happened. And here's what I'm upset about. Not what happened. How I know what happened happened. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Elaborate, please. So let me tell you the story. Matt Damon basically said he stopped using a slur, an anti-gay slur. Starts with an F. You get it. And he says, quote, uh, the word that my daughter calls the F slur for a homosexual was commonly used when I was a kid with a different application. That's what he's saying. He says he put that uh, word away in recent months explaining he didn't think of it as a slur. Um, he apparently made a joke using the word in front of one of his three daughters, who range in age is between 10 and 15. And apparently one of his daughters left the table because she was so upset that he used that word. And he said, come on, that's a joke. I say it in this movie, Stuck on You. She went to her room and wrote a very long, beautiful treatise on how that word is dangerous. I said, I retire the F slur. I understood. So basically, we're being told a story about how Matt Damon has grown as a person. Yep. Now, some people have taken issue with that word or with that story by saying, you're just now figuring out that that's a bad word. Mm -hmm. Like what? Mm -hmm. Like. Well, hello? Uh, but I, I twenty twenty. 20 and I would like, I mean, sure, okay, I think that's fair. Yeah. But to me, the bigger issue with this story about Matt Damon retiring this slur, he's telling it to sell a movie. And that's what I have a problem with. Don't use your bigotry to sell your movie. Mm-hmm. As well-intentioned as you think that that story is. And again, Thoughtful Bradley. Thoughtful Bradley. I don't want to take away from the message that changing your language is a good thing. I want to simply point out that maybe you don't share that. Because some people are like, why are you sharing? Like, first of all, the timing, because you just look like you're 100 years old. Right. Nobody, everybody understands or should understand at this point that we don't use that word. Some people do. I get it. Right. But like as a celebrity, as a public figure, That's going to make you look like a dinosaur, which is fine if you want to look like a bigot or a dinosaur. But that's a different conversation. To me, the most important thing is you're telling this story like on a press junket. To sell your movie. Right? To sell your movie. And I just, I, I get what he thinks he's doing by being, quote, open and honest. Like, again, thoughtful Bradley. 
I'm not trying to discourage people from changing their mind mm -hmm. and behavior, more importantly. I don't really care about your mind. I care about your behavior because um, I can't control your mind and I really can't control your behavior, but you can. So that was the thing that really rubbed me the wrong way is I was reading the story and I was like, I don't really, I mean, I guess that's fine and I'm glad and well, that's kind of dusty that you would like, Matt Damon is using this word well, and yeah. in front of his like young daughters and doesn't feel like that's problematic. Okay, fine, but that's my own personal judgment. But then I was like, do to do. And this all comes as he's, you know, or this conversation happened in an interview for his new movie, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? Yeah. So it, now <laughs> you're trying to like, what? Yeah, you're trying to sell this movie. But interestingly enough, so the movie that Matt Damon is trying to sell by telling the story, it's called Stillwater. And it's loosely based on the story of Amanda Knox. Now, another separate sidebar. Which, don't even get us started. <laughs> I read a whole article from, or not article, but a whole Twitter thread from Amanda Knox about this. Yeah, so Amanda Knox going after the movie Stillwater for loosely adapting her story and then going off on a whole tangent about who gets to tell the story of individuals. I mean, it goes on and on and on. We don't have time to talk about it. But, no, but, but it's a good story if you want to read it. I yeah. would read her Twitter thread. But the kernel of what Matt Damon, I think, what yeah. was trying to yeah, be yeah, illustrated yeah. through that anecdote was... In the movie Stillwater, it's about Matt Damon's character who is attempting to free his daughter from a European prison. So somewhere it was like, I'm trying to tell this father-daughter story in all of that. Yeah, like, it, again, I think this is just celebrity. I mean, to give the, like, best, I don't know why I'm getting giving Ben or uh, Matt Damon the like best possible explanation. You're thoughtful Bradley right now. Thoughtful Bradley. I mean, sure, he had some sort of like rationale, okay, for why this story was appropriate. But you're using the story as an anecdote right. to, to sell a movie, which, yeah, they all do it, sure. But like, this is just, for me, a line where you just think, you know what, I'm not going to use somebody else's um, so th th I'm not going to use another community <laughs> to sell my movie. Mm -hmm. It just felt a little gross. A little. Yeah. Yeah. It felt well, gross. It felt, it felt gross. gross. It felt, it felt gross. gross. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank it, you. It felt gross. It felt gross. <laughs> well, that was fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Do you lip? That's all, folks.